Hey, welcome to Dave's Pick of the Week. On today's episode, we're at 714 East Summit Avenue, where we have a newly remodeled two bed, two bath, just making its way into the market for 114,000. While only 900 square feet on paper, this house makes creative use of its pitched ceilings to add additional living space, as you'll see in the loft area. Separating the kitchen from the living dining room area is a partition of exposed brick from the original construction. Love that. So the real estate market is extremely competitive, as you know, uh, for buyers and sellers, but also for realtors. It is very competitive for realtors. But David, our friend David here, found a way to kind of show houses in a unique way that really showcases all of the details in a very quick time frame so you can get it right out on the market, correct? That's the plan, Anna. Thanks so much for having me yeah, here today of and, uh, and picking up on my idea. I think I just released it last week, so this is I was on top of it. It's new, it's fresh. <laughs> um, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to share my secret because, like you said, you yeah. know, we all work together, but at the same time, yep. we're quite competitive as realtors. You know, yeah. there's a limited supply, and um, we all want our piece of the puzzle. And uh, this is kind of my hopeful way of, of breaking out onto the scene a little bit. Yeah. So David Jensen, he's with Keller Williams Realty in Fergus Falls. So. If you need a lake home or you want property that's a little bit outside of the Fargo area, David is the guy to go to, um, but for more reasons than one. So how did you get the idea of doing this kind of like fast walkthrough videography? Sure. Um, I've been a big video fan for many years. Um, I've used it in, in many ways. I, uh, I see that it is being used uh, on some higher dollar homes, uh, mm -hmm. particularly in those lake homes, those $250,000 plus homes, because of the work involved. Um, mm -hmm. You know about video, obviously we're in yeah, a studio. Yep. I see lights everywhere, um, audio, and uh, realtors who are using that, are, again, are kind of limited to justify the work involved. And, and at being new on the scene, I'm gonna be probably kind of initially honing in on a lot of the starter homes where they've not really been featured in this manner. Yeah. And so I, I was thinking of a way, how can I feature homes creatively in an engaging way that doesn't require a sound crew? lighting and I just kind of mm -hmm. came up with this idea there's already usually great photos in a photo gallery of these listings if I simply made a kind of a cool interactive slideshow threw myself in the lower right hand corner yeah. engaged the crowd a little bit talked about the various rooms kind of gave almost a makeshift virtual tour I thought it might catch people's eye and kind of be a fun way affordable and uh, convenient way to feature homes. Well clearly it worked because I caught it probably the day you put it out or the next day and I just love the idea because a lot of realtors, like you said, they do virtual tours, mm -hmm. they go into the homes and they've got the camera and everything like that. But because the real estate market moves so fast, you can't just say, I'm gonna take five days to produce this video. You have to just get out there. And how do you do that is my question, because it's tough. So again, um, my plan, creating as efficient way as possible to mm -hmm. feature these homes creatively. And so what I'm able to do um, in some cases is simply grab the listing photos certainly with the agent's permission. Create that slideshow, give me your 12 best photos I'll ask for. I'll kind of put them into my video program, do some cool panning, some movement, but simply write up a little script, read it in front of a camera, slap myself on there, and in a matter of two to three hours, as opposed to 12 to 13 hours, I'll have kind of a cool two to three minute video that can be featured on their social media, on my social media, hopefully catch the eye of potential buyers in, mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a, an area where they may not otherwise be featured. Well, that's the thing is it, it is a competitive market. So yes, homes are selling, but there is more to be gained. I mean, you can get a better selling price. Maybe you can get oh. your face out to a lot more people. This is how bidding wars happen is because a house becomes so desirable that people cannot wait to, to bid on it and get in there. And what you're doing too is kind of speeding up the process for a potential buyer of, you know, you don't just have to be like, all right, can I schedule at four o'clock a walkthrough of the house? They mm -hmm. can see a lot of it from what you're showing and probably, I would imagine you can get a lot of offers in a lot quicker for that seller. Exactly. Uh, I chose Keller Williams. Their motto is win, win or no deal. Mm -hmm. And that's my, my goal. Um, I want it to be a win for the listing agent whose property I'm showing. Um, I would love to represent a buyer, hopefully a win for myself and a, a win for the actual seller. Um, more exposure, you're right, probably a better offer. Um, person who maybe would have never seen that home in the first place is, is seeing it, therefore finding their dream home. So again, uh, win, win or no deal. That's my model, that's Keller Williams model. And I hope that this kind of video series, I'm hoping to do these weekly, mostly for my social media, mm -hmm. um, Dave Jensen at Keller Williams basically, um, featuring area, and I'll, I'll feature outside of Fergus Falls. Basically, uh, I can feature into Moorhead. 
um, our, our, our region is quite vast here yeah. in North Central Minnesota. So um, again, I, I don't even physically need to go to the house, which is kind of unique. I would like to. I would love to take my my little iPhone and walk the whole halls a little <laughs> bit, kind of like I did in that particular example. But I don't necessarily need to, and yeah. I think is what makes this idea pretty unique. It is, and what I like about it too is, you know, you we've known each other for yep. quite a while, and you've always been the kind of person that is very much like a rising tide lifts all boats. So that when you and I were having this conversation. You know, I, you had mentioned to me that, yeah, I'll do it for other realtors too because we're all helping each other. Like it's all, you know, if I'm helping them, that's that's a really good thing. And then, you know, maybe it'll come back to you. Who knows? Oh. But just being helpful to other people. So if you're a realtor out there and you're watching this and you're thinking, dang it, he's got a great idea. I wish I had thought of it first. You can actually just talk to David and he'll, he'll help you out with that. So thank you again. This is fantastic. I'm so excited oh, for you. Gosh, such an honor. You know, like I said, I, I feel great about this idea, but just having um, you take interest in it, Anna, uh, and a number of other people I've had a really good response and, and, and I should be featuring homes for weeks and months to come. Yeah. And I, I can't wait to do that. Like I said, help others out by helping myself gain exposure. New to the scene, um, it, is a, it is a competitive market, but it's a great industry. Um, you know, realtors do a fantastic they job do. for their clients. I mean, they have their truly their best interest at heart. So if I could uh, give any advice to people considering getting their homes out on the market, don't be afraid to chat with a realtor. Of I course. Mean, we we, we want to win-win. That's our model, and I'm pretty sure it's most all realtors' model. Yeah. Well, David Jensen, thank you for joining us again. Best luck in all your future endeavors, sir. And stay with us. Coming up on today's show, the great race is coming to Fargo, and we're going to tell you all about that next.